Hi guys! About a month ago I showed you this lovely looking box and it's finally time for us to take a look at what's inside of it. First I want to thank Oliver from Vavood for sending me what's in all likelihood going to turn out to be an awesome product. To give you guys a little background, Vavood is a Danish startup. In 2013 they launched their first Kickstarter campaign. They raised roughly $41,000 and they introduced this, the Mjolnir. Now, when I first saw this product, I thought it was awesomely clever, because this thing contains absolutely no electronics. For measuring wind speeds in the Vavood app, when used in combination with the Milner, the app relies on the fact that there's two magnets located inside this wind meter. The uh, app then uses the magnetic sensor in the phone to measure disturbances in the uh, magnetic field around the phone, and from that calculates wind speeds. That is a pretty awesome solution. And it also means that this thing is really rugged because well, it contains absolutely no electronics. But this thing is missing one feature and that's wind direction. This will only allow you to measure wind speeds. In 2014, Vavood launched their second Kickstarter campaign to fund this, the Sleipnir. The campaign was a big success and they raised over $60,000. Just in case you were wondering, both of the names, Mjolnir and Sleipnir, are from Norse mythology. You guys know Mjolnir, right? The hammer. But Sleipnir was Odin's six-legged horse. And the fun fact is that Sleipnir's father was a mighty stallion, but his mother was Loki, the god. Yeah, you're not gonna find stuff like that in the Bible. There are two big improvements in the Sleipnir. One is the addition of wind direction, which is a really cool feature to have. But Vavud has also increased the maximum wind speeds we were able to measure. With the Mjolnir, we were only able to measure wind speeds up to 20 meters per second, but with the Sleipner, that's been increased to 40 meters per second. Now you might be wondering why Vavood doesn't support wind speeds higher than 40 meters per second, but honestly, if it's blowing just shy of 80 knots outside, I'm not going to be pulling out my smartphone to measure wind speeds. Definitely not while sailing. But let's get down to brass tacks and take a closer look at the Sleipner. The packaging of the Sleipner is first class and it raises very high expectations for the product inside. Now included in the box is the Sleipner itself and a small pouch for carrying it in and some very basic instructions in the inside of the box. Basically it just says to download the app. The Sleipner feels very well made. It's got a metal mini jack here instead of the plastic mini jack on the Mjolnir, and that's because it's got some electronics inside of it. But how do you guys think this thing is able to measure wind direction? You might have noticed that there's no big arrow like appendage protruding out of this like you would find on most wind meters that are able to measure wind direction. Well, it's actually very clever. By having an asymmetric router, and uh, that's caused by this hole here, I think, in most part, and a sensor that's able to measure variations in rotational speed, the app is able to calculate wind direction plus minus 4%. Now that is awesomely clever, and it's clever and innovative solutions like this that startups do so well, and Vavood certainly doesn't disappoint in that department. For me to be able to use the Mjolnir or the Sleipnir, I have to go and download Vavood's app. There we go. In the settings, I'll just choose the Sleipner as the wind meter I'm using. And the clip's located on the back of the phone. So that should be good. Well, why do I just feel like I've been pulled over by the cops? <laughs> well, uh, there's a bit of wind outside today, so uh, let's go out and test this. And as luck would have it, yesterday I received what's known as a dead cat. That's this fluffy sack up here covering the mic on the camera. And uh, hopefully that should take care of most of the wind noise. Welcome to the breakwater here in the marina. So uh, let's see how much it's flowing.
Out there at the end of the breakwater, that's where I used the wind meter just now, and uh, I noticed going out there that the wind was directly in my face, so uh, let's head back to the boat and see if that matches the wind direction on the app. Oh, it's good to get out of the wind again. Now I know this is off topic, but uh, coming back from the breakwater, there was this young seal in the water, and he just looked so awesomely cute that I, I just had to show you. But uh, let's get back to the wind meter. Now, I don't really have a way of checking the wind speed measurements, but uh, let's take a closer look at the wind direction. This is going to be a very crude and inaccurate way of testing whether or not the Sleipner can actually tell wind direction. But remember a little earlier on in the video, I mentioned that I was walking on the breakwater, the wind was almost directly in my face. Oh, this is Google Earth and I've zoomed into the marina here and using their ruler tool I've found the heading on the breakwater here and that's at 160 degrees and according to the app the wind was coming from 163 so yeah I'd say that the Sleipner is able to measure wind direction. Let's take a quick peek at what you can do in the Vavood app. So I've grabbed a measurement here and uh, I have the option to share that with my friends on Facebook so oh, let's do that. So I posted that measurement to Facebook. Another feature is this map where you can see all of the measurements grabbed by the Vavood users during the last 24 hours. And it must be really cool for the guys of Vavood to be able to see their product being used all around the world. Apparently Vavood is about to launch two new features in their app and this is one of them, Activity Flow. Now I have no idea what this is but it'll be interesting to see. And the other one is Notifications and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to both of those. I believe the Sleipner retails for somewhere around 60 bucks, and considering that price, I think it's a pretty awesome product. Of course, you need a smartphone to be able to use the Sleipner, and uh, there's a list of compatible devices over at Vavood's website. So, the uh, Sleipner would make a great gift for a sailor, a kite surfer, a windsurfer, or even a guy flying RC planes or stuff like that, so it's actually a bit of a shame that I didn't have time to shoot this video before Christmas. Now. I'm very excited to see what Vavood comes up with in the future, and I have no idea if they're planning this or not, but I'd love to see a Bluetooth-enabled wind meter from them, something that you could mount to your house or your boat. And based on the products that they've put to market so far, and their app, I think they could come up with something really cool. But yeah, just to sum up, the Sleipner gets a big thumbs up from me. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. See you! Yukul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more videos like it, click subscribe. Please consider leaving a comment and a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot and I appreciate your support very much. If you're new to the channel, please check out the introduction playlist. If you want to watch every single video I've ever published, check out the playlist named All Videos. It contains every single video listed in chronological order.